A Nation Nation back with Ted Halsey. How you doing, Ted? I'm doing well, Harry. How about yourself? Good, good. Uh, so, hey, the topic uh, this time is the upcoming um, IT Nation. So, you uh, you've been involved, I, I think, since the beginning with that. So, let's fact check that. And um, but, what are you looking forward to this next week? What's your what's your plan? What what are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got a couple of days with the Evolve IT Nation Evolve peer groups at the front part of the week, and then IT Nation Connect. So I'm just very excited to you know be back at the industry's biggest show, and uh, you know after last year's hiatus, obviously because of the pandemic. But um, you know what I'm looking for. I mean, I think there's two things I'm going to be talking with people about. Is I, I'm trying to figure out you know just narrow in on. Where are people experiencing growth? Where are MSP business leaders having success with sales and marketing? I think there are a ton of challenges just because things are still so turbulent and you know things are different in different parts of the country in terms of being back to quote unquote normal. And, um, and there are challenges, I think, with getting new logo wins on the board. So that's one big area. And then the second big area I would just say is how are people capitalizing on the opportunity of um, securing the home office environment, you know, the, the, you know, work from home, that whole mega trend is here to stay, but I yeah. think it was mostly a triage effort during the pandemic. And now it's a, a, perm, a, a permanent state of affairs. And I don't think we've sorted out as an industry, all the different cybersecurity issues that are in play. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. For, for whatever reason, this is the first time in probably a decade uh, that I'm going back to IT Nation. And um, I'm trying to line up interviews uh, with the, is it Jason Maggie, the CEO, and I think Scott Marshall, the head of marketing. Um, because you can imagine if I took a 10-year break and I for no other reason, but uh, Arnie's gone. These are people I've not met. How long have these two individuals been in place? Was that a couple of years ago that that Arnie uh, exited? Yeah, I mean, I think the the passing of the torch, like there was, you know, literally was I think in 2019. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, and Jason, Jason has been with ConnectWise for quite a long time. He was actually, I was on the vendor peer group with him for several years. Um, so he's been, he's a long time ConnectWise employee, and then was promoted to CEO back in 19 when Arnie stepped out and Tomo Bravo took the company uh, or made an investment in the company and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I mean, Jason's, uh, you know, he's been in the channel for a very long time, big, you know, had a career at, at, at computer associates, I think before, oh, okay. uh, before ConnectWise and he built up um, a lot of uh, ConnectWise's international stuff in kind of like the 14 to 19 period. So that five year period, Okay. That was, you know, an area where he cut his teeth inside of ConnectWise and then uh, was tapped as the CEO. Yeah, yeah, that's a com- my past life. I mean, past, past, past life, uh, Alaska oil. But um, that's what you saw at the time was the rising stars would go overseas to Venezuela or Saudi Arabia or whatever, and then come back t- to Houston, right? That that was what they did. <laughs> Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't an easy job. I mean, expanding a software company into Europe, uh, you know, when you're that size is a ton of it's 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 a ton of work, especially when resources are are tight. And I I think you know, ConnectWise always was able to uh, punch above its weight in terms of resources all at all times. And now it's you know a massive company, but back then it was you had to be a lot more creative with what you were doing. So, yeah. Hey, final question. Uh, well, I see Arnie. Does, does Arnie still come and, you know, walk the hall and shake hands and kiss babies? I, I don't know. I hope so. I hope he's there. I mean, I think uh, it, it probably is exciting for him on a personal level to see how the company is evolving and thriving. I, I Rumor has it he's still a shareholder, so he still has skin in the game. <laughs> I'm sure he is. And, yeah. uh, but probably a lot more time on his hands. So I'm, I'm sure he'll be there, and I probably he'll be featured on something on main stage. I'm guessing. Maybe not, though. Who knows? But hopefully we run into him in the halls. And I hope we, no, no, and no. I will look forward to seeing you as well. Yeah, exactly. I have a couple updates we'll do in uh, Hallway 101. So thanks, Ted. All right, Harry. Nice catching up. Take care. Yep.